Hi guys, Jamie Oliver here. The gang from PG Tips have set me and my team a challenge to see if we can use some of their brand new tea flavors in some classic dishes. Here's our lovely baking queen, Cupcake Gemma, showing her take on a classic cupcake using some delicious English breakfast tea. Hi guys, Cupcake Gemma here. I'll be using fresh lemons and lemon curd to complement the light, refreshing flavour of the tea. And these are going to make a brilliant occasional treat, which are perfect for tea time or any other time of day, really. But to start with, I'm going to infuse some milk with some tea. So I have 150 millilitres of whole milk, which I'm going to put into a saucepan. And to that, I'm going to add six tea bags. And I need to heat that up, so I'm just going to use my hob for that. And that just needs to simmer on a low heat for about three or four minutes until it's really, really strong. And just give it a little swirl every now and then to help the tea along. All right, that's looking a lovely rich colour. So I'm just going to take that off the heat and put a lid on and then leave it to cool until I need it. So next up is the buttery biscuit base. Now, in my opinion, the perfect biscuit for a nice cup of tea is a rich tea biscuit. The clue is in the name, rich tea. Uh, so they look like this and they are delicious. Um, so I've ground it up 150 grams of those and I'm gonna add 50 grams of melted butter to that. And I've got one and a half tablespoons of golden syrup as well. And I'm just gonna give that a really good stir until it's really super mixed. And next, you then need to scoop all your buttery biscuit base into your paper cases. And I normally use about just over a tablespoon for that, so this is perfect. I'm just going to scoop them in and press them down. I'm leaving my biscuit bases to one side while I get on with making my cake batter. And this is where I need my tea milk. So I already have some which I made earlier and it's nice and cool now. But to start with, I'm going to put 125 grams of self-raising flour into my mixing bowl along with 125 grams of caster sugar and a quarter of a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. And I'm just going to shuffle that through the sieve. And to give it a little bit more zing, I'm going to zest one lemon straight in here as well. And then 125 grams of soft unsalted butter. So put that onto your mixer and then add two large free range eggs. And that just needs to be mixed on a medium speed for about 60 seconds till it all comes together. And then add one and a half tablespoons of your tea infused milk. And give that a mix on medium for another 30 seconds. And that is looking pretty good. So now it's time to scoop the batter into your cupcake cases. I'm going to use spoons for that, as usual. So I'm just going to put about this much in, just straight on top of that buttery biscuit base. And I'm going to bake these at 170 degrees C for 20 to 22 minutes. While my cakes are cooking in the oven, I'm going to get on with making some tea syrup. Now, this is going to be used at the very, very end to decorate the cakes, but because it gets quite hot, I'm going to need a bit of time for it to cool down, so I'm making it now. And for that, I have brewed 100 millilitres of boiling water with three tea bags um, for about five minutes to make this really super strong tea. And I'm going to pour the liquid from that into this saucepan. It's a lovely, rich, golden amber colour. And to that, I'm going to add 80 grams of caster sugar. And I'm going to heat that on a low temperature for about three or four minutes to make a syrup. And just give it a little swirl every now and then. So my tea and sugar has reached a really nice syrupy consistency, so that's just cooling down over there. And my cakes are out of the oven and they're cooling down over here, so now it's time to make my buttercream. And this is going to be a tea buttercream using the lovely milk we made earlier. And to start with, I have 200 grams of soft unsalted butter. And that just needs to be beaten at quite a high speed for about five minutes. And when that's ready, I'm going to add 450 grams of sifted icing sugar in two stages, beating really well in between each one. Uh, 
And once that's had a few minutes of beating, it's time to add the milk. So I've got three tablespoons in here. I might add another little tablespoon if it gets a bit stiff, but I'm going to start with three. So that's ready, and it's gone a really beautiful colour. And I could ice my cakes straight away with this, but I'm actually going to fill my cakes with lemon curd. Now, you don't have to do this, but I think it's a really nice way of adding a little bit more zing to these cupcakes. So I have my cakes here and I like to make holes in them with an apple corer because it kind of removes a whole piece so I can fill it with lemon curd. So just pop it right in the centre and give it a little twist to take the middle out. And I have my lemon curd here and you can use store-bought lemon curd if you like but if you want to make your own, click on the link now for my recipe. I'm just going to put this into a small piping bag. And then just stick the end of your piping bag into each hole and give it a squirt. So now they're all filled, I'm going to decorate them. So I've just got a piping bag here with a star nozzle on the end, and I'm going to fill it up with my buttercream. Give it a little twist. And then decorate your cupcakes. And now I'm going to finish these off with a little drizzle of my tea syrup, which has had plenty of time to cool down. There it is, my delicious zesty cupcake infused with English breakfast tea with a hint of lemon. Delicious, and I'm going to go and enjoy one of these with a nice cup of tea. In the meantime, if you want some more ideas on how to use tea in a new, exciting way, don't forget to check out Becky Sheeran's video over on Drinks Tube for her Earl Grey martini recipe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget you can subscribe to Drinks Tube, Food Tube, and my channel if you want by clicking on the links. I'll be back soon, so I'll see you around. Bye.